Hello, it's Nancy today. I found a path. Now let's see, where am I? There's Moody Drive and there's West Hunt Club. And at that area is Stony Creek. Lots of parking lots where you can park and walk in. This is one place that I've found. This is the Beaver Trail. And I've just been sitting here marveling at the incredible beauty it is out here. There's a beaver lodge over there. I don't know if you can really see it or not. It's over there anyway. Oh, look at that. That's a hawk. Let's see, where's the telephone pole? And there's the wires. Now he's in between the wires. Right in there. There he is. Sure is shaking a lot. Well, he's gone now. He's behind the pole. Never noticed him before. But I did notice a little fog right here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Let me go back. Okay, there's the big rock. Okay, there's the big rock, and then there's that cluster. And then there's that. That's right where he is, right there. Can't really see him, can you? Oh, is that him down there? It's, uh, it's quite warm out here. It's only about 20 today. Oh, I hear some frog right over here somewhere. This has been just the most lovely time. I've been sitting here reading my scriptures, and I've been making a little birch bark box. See, here it is. It is consisting of... Oops, the side, the top, the piece that goes around the top, and the bottom. See, I just measured the bottom, then I cut a, a sides to fit, I've been bending it, I cleaned it, and then I made the top a little bigger than the bottom, and a piece to go around the edge of the top. And then I'll have to figure out how to connect them all without ripping the bark. And I've been reading my scriptures. And of course, naturally, I took off my socks. So let's just over here and zero in on this little froggy. just ate something. Did you notice that? Oh, the tripod is so nice, isn't it? I almost stepped on this guy. A rock. He was sitting right there. It's nice and warm where he was sitting. I oh, probably didn't need to be warm. Okay, the rock. Right near that thing and right down there. Okay, there's the shadow of the rock and he's right next to the shadow. Oh, there he is. That is a leopard frog. 
Notice all the spots. My dress is blowing. Which is probably disturbing him. Then there's the other one, Liz, right here. Looks like he's also a leopard frog. The spots. Now, if these two frogs are right here, and I never noticed them, and I've been sitting here for quite some time, I wonder if there's anything else close by. You know, when you come to the edge of a pond, everything jumps in. But you never saw them at the first anyway. This water is nice and warm on my feet. It's nice and warm on the feet. Wherever they are, they're there somewhere. We do have feet. And where did he go? He's still right there by that piece of grass. Now I know where this guy is because I saw him move. And then this guy was here, and he appears to have gone now. Here he is over here. Ian, did you know you're not supposed to touch a frog? Because your fingers will remove the slime that keeps him protected from the weather and the water and whatever. Put him in the shade. Let's see if he leaves because of the shade. This is fun. You know this is fun? My hat. I had a bird come swooping in and he was going to land on my hat. They tricked him. Let's look and see what else we've got around here. Oh, my hand is just shaking so much. Do it right now. Now there's supposed to be a boardwalk way down there. So I think I'm gonna back up. You know, it's important that when you go for a walk in a trail, that you bring your chair and your something to do. And if you are properly distracted, nature will come back and be around there. The sounds, the noise that you made getting there will stop. And the animals that were there will forget that you're there. And also, the animals that are coming through the area won't notice you, because you're not making any noise. Just read, do something quiet, write, and then you'll start to see things, and you'll become part of the place, and it'll be as if it's your living room. Because when you're comfortable with the back, it's very important to have a back on your chair. It's so different than sitting on a log or a rock. If you sit on a rock a little bit, it won't take long before, or a, a rock or a log. I mean, you could sit there, but it won't take long before you're tired. And once your back is tired, you feel like getting up and going away. And so you're not usually there long enough to see everything that's happening. 
So that's my two cents worth. Put your book in your chair. Hold it closed. These are the best chairs because they actually support you. Although they're harder to find now. Okay, it's Nancy today. You can do this anywhere you are. Just get to the edge of the city or to some park or some quiet nature place. Set yourself down and relax. And do something that you'd never have time to do when you're in the house because you have other more important things. Bring along one of those things to do. Okay, bye.